Hey, God is on. Welcome to Dominion Morning Launch. Hey, the Lord has created a beautiful day for us to worship Him, exalt Him, exalt Him, and, and bless His name. I'm out here at my old truck, my 65 <clears throat> Ford F100. Getting ready to believe with you for God's great day to manifest and for God's will to manifest in your life on Dominion Morning Launch. And God is on time in your need and in your behalf. Well, I want to share a, a psalm with you from Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work you did in their days in the times of old how you did drive out the heathen with your hand and planted them, how you did afflict the people and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arms save them, but thy right hand, but your right hand, your arm, the light of your countenance, because you had favor unto them. You are my king, O my God. Command deliverances for Jacob. Through you we will push down our enemies. Through your name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall I trust in my sword, that it will save me. But you have saved us from our enemies and have put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long and praise your name forever. Selah. Take a break this morning and think on that. That's literally what Selah means. Hey, we're going to receive of the body and the blood of the Lord today in communion. Do it every day. You're a priest unto God. You're part of a kingdom of priests according to Revelation chapter 1. So let's partake. Get your grape juice and your unleavened bread, your saltine, whatever it might be. Let's partake together right now. Father, thank you for the broken body of Jesus. And the night that Jesus was betrayed, he blessed the bread and said, Blessed be the Lord our God, which brings forth bread from the earth. So thank you, Lord, for bringing forth the bread from the earth. And thank you that you came forth on the third day. He broke the bread. Shall we break the bread together? He said, this is my body. As often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you activate and you show or demonstrate the Lord's death and the victory of his death of it is finished over all of the curse of sin. Thank you, Father, for the broken body of Jesus in every wound. I claim it for my own. Thank you that you died as me and for me. In Jesus' name, amen. In the same manner, he took the cup and he blessed it. Blessed be the Lord our God, which brings forth the fruit of the vine from the earth. And he said, this is the new covenant in my blood. Thank you for the power of the blood Lord, that it repels Satan, it extinguishes the fires of hell. Thank you, Lord, for the power of the blood that sets us free and cleanses us. It says that we are the children of God. The DNA says that we are part of the Jehovah family and we have the divine nature. We claim it. We claim the life that's in the blood, everlasting life, eternal life, resurrection life, abundant life, God kind of life today. And Jesus said, drink all of it in remembrance of me. Shall we partake together of it at this time? Praise God. Here's a rhema word for you today. Stop being obsessed with the results and start focusing on the mental transformation and the attitude of your mind. Leave the results to God and trust God for he will bring it to pass because God is on.